Thanks for watching. We got a product in today and it's kind of different. Uh, this company wanted to send this out and I didn't know if it would be something I would want to do, but it's actually, well, let me show you. Uh, this is by One Tigress and it's a concealed master hitting gun storage wooden box. And uh, they sent this out for a review. Now we're gonna open this up and take a look at this. Now it come in another box, which was super good packed. And uh, so I took it down to here. I've never opened this one yet. So we're gonna open it up and take a look and see what this is. And uh, I think this supposed to hang on the wall. Uh, and it's, uh, it's kind of disguised as something else. So let's see what it is. Now this is for a handgun. So, uh, all right, let me bring the cameras down just a little bit. And this is it. And so you can see that, and we'll put a link that'll take you to their site. Uh, and you can check these products, and they got a lot more products on there. So uh, let's take a look at this one, though, and see what we got here. Ah. Uh, it is super warm here in Kentucky today. Now, okay, it, uh, this is the hardware to mount it on the wall, and it is real well packed in there. So let's get that out. And let's use this out of here. Okay. Remove film before use. So I'm just looking at, at this with you now. But what this does is actually slide right up. And here is where the gun actually goes, right here. So uh, pretty neat. Now, it's got another set of hangers and it's got uh, another little drawer or two here for like uh, maybe some ammo. Uh, they had some decals and stuff evidently on this to uh, kind of disguise it like a picture. Uh, let's get this open and see if there's anything else in here. Okay. This is like uh, some type of Velcro. And let's see, this would actually lay here. Now, uh, I was thinking it might have come with some uh, uh, decals or something, but uh, Evidently, you put those on, uh, and what this would actually be like is like a picture hanging on the wall. Okay, so that's what you have when you get through. Now, uh, it shows, I uh, like, and the diagram here, like maybe some stickers. Uh, I'm probably going to put, I've got a lot of gun stickers uh, and uh, from different uh, firearm companies and I'll put these in here and display them and I think that would be great for that. When you mount it, you're going to mount it like this and then you would simply uh, slide this apart and there's your gun. And this would still be stable like this. It's kind of dovetailed joints in here. It seems to be well-made, solid wood. And, uh, but let's see here now. We're gonna take this off for a minute. Let's actually see if you can actually, now all these guns have been cleared before the video. I just wanna make a note of that. And uh, here's a little Beretta. And 
no problem staying right in there. All right, let's try my old 1911. No problem. Now, naturally you could put smaller guns in here and let's try a revolver. Now this is a pretty good size revolver. This is a 45 long coat and that, uh, it will go in there, but it's not locking in. Uh, so it, it it's probably designed uh, for a smaller revolver. That would be good, like a 38 special, uh, you know, some kind of smaller frame revolver. This is a 45 long coat and it's just a little bit big. But now this is uh, a full size Beretta and it's uh, fitting in here with no problem. Let's see about the magazines. And you can put a magazine in there. Uh, no problem and it would be uh you could probably put a couple three four magazines in there and so now let me tell you i've got some uh, a few decals and stickers i want to put in here so uh give me just a minute i'm gonna go pick those up put them in here and let's see what that looks like give me just a minute now this is actually i put a few of them in there i didn't get them straight but uh, once you gun them straight, they're gonna stay there because that's not gonna move. Uh, but I, that's basically uh, what they're actually going for. It's kind of like displaying uh, a picture, whatever it might be, you can put it right in there. And this has got your glass and it's got a good backing there. And uh, we also brought one of our, uh, this is a 38. And this one will fit right in there. No problem. Uh, this big frame, 45 long coat, just not gonna work in there. It, it will, but it's not, uh, you know, it's not to where it would uh, not fall out. So that's, that's pretty neat, I, I got to say. And uh, then you just slide this back on and you got, You hang that up on the wall and it's like you're displaying uh, your favorite stickers, pictures, whatever. Uh, the size, uh, what space kind of space this is going to take up, this is uh, 11 and 3 quarter inches by 11 and 3 quarters by 3 inches. And uh, so, uh, guys, I kind of like this. I'll uh, probably hang this in my little uh, workshop out there. Uh, where company comes and sits around and uh, we talk and we, we do some videos out there. Uh, I think this is gonna be uh, <laughs> kind of pretty neat. So we're gonna leave a link that'll take you to the site uh, where you can purchase these if you're interested in one. <laughs> I kinda like it, a uh, little bit different. So guys and girls, get down in the comment section and let me know what you think about the one tigress Concealed Master Hitting Gun Storage Wooden Box. Uh, let me know what you think about that. Uh, I'd be glad to hear from you. And as always, we appreciate you watching. We thank you for all those views and comments. And subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And give us a big thumbs up. It does help. And we'll see you the next time out here at my little mini range having some fun on the walk with Elf. Thank you ever so much for watching. We appreciate each and every one of y'all.